Hey, Namaskar everyone. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And if you're already a subscriber and you watch my videos, I definitely appreciate it. And yep, it's adventure time. Today's adventure is gonna have us feeling like royalty. Well, sort of. Um, it actually brought me up to North Chagrin Reservation, which is in Willoughby Hills, Ohio. Um, and as a whole, that's part of the Cleveland Metro Parks. Um, and why did it bring us up here? Well, this is where Squire's Castle is. Yep, Cleveland's very own castle. Well, sort of. It's not really a castle. This was actually a gatehouse for a vision that the original landowner had. You know what? Let's start at the beginning of why this was built. A man named Fergus Squire, which was originally from England, I believe he came over here at the age of 10. Um, he was a pretty big and solid name in the Standard Oil Company. Um, I even believe he served in office for the city of Wycliffe as mayor for a term. Um, he was also well known for designing and building the first oil tanker for, for land travel, um, although there were some critics for that. I know, I know, the, the castle. Stay on subject, Jim, right? I, I, this is what I do. You watch my videos, you should know already. Well, I told you he had a vision. Well, he bought all this property that we're looking at right now, and it was 500 plus acres. Well, his vision was to build this gatehouse, which would be the entrance to a large farmhouse, would have, which would have been way back in there. Now, both buildings were supposed to be built after the design of the old castle halls uh, that were in Germany and England. So obviously, the gatehouse was built. The farmhouse was not. Um, there's a couple reasons I don't think it was built. Uh, one is because I believe he was having trouble finding labor and supplies to build it. Um, second, his wife totally despised country living. She was a city gal. Um, so that might have had a little bit to do with it. So what Fergus ended up doing was using this home as a, a weekend getaway, an oversized man cave. Um, his wife rarely came here, so it definitely was not a she shed. But look at that. That's one heck of a man cave, right? And the sun is crazy, so I apologize if the video is dark. Now, after his retirement, he barely used this place. Um, and he did end up selling it, but he, he sold it within the family. So it was still in the family, and I believe that was 1922. Um, he actually moved to Wycliffe, which is Cleveland, Ohio, by the way, um, on Millionaire's Row. But yeah, here is the gatehouse. Look at that. Wow. So obviously, you see that this is pretty much just a shell. Um, this was actually sold again to the Cleveland Metro Parks, I believe, in 1925. So, you know where I'm going with that. I think. Being that it was sold to the Metro Parks, it was more or less for public use now. It was public display. Well, being that we all know that humans are destructive, what do you think happened? That's right. They stole the lead windows out of here. They sold the ornate woodworking. They just vandalized this place so what the 
Cleveland Metro Parks did was they took everything out of it, took the windows out of it, took the floors, and uh, once we get to the other side, you'll be able to see that this did have uh, two floors to it. Um, there was also a basement they filled in. Um, you know, shame on people. That's a nice view right there. Fireplace with Squire's Castle up on there. Yeah, again, I apologize if the video is somewhat dark because it's dark in here. GoPros aren't good in low light and even outside the way the sun is, it's, it's uh, kind of affecting it. Now this stone you're looking at, all this stone was actually quarried pretty close to where we are right now. And this is Euclid Bluestone is what it's called. Let me just go around here so you can see this. I'll go in detail here so you can see. Yeah, these were used to have uh, lead windows in here. And here, I'll, I don't even know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. There you go. If you want to read that, just pause it. Uh, now that one doesn't have no bars in it. But yeah, this is this is uh, this is a really really awesome house. Or castle whatever you want to say look at that so you could tell this had two floors to it Now this did have a couple bedrooms to it. Uh, it had a large kitchen. It had a breakfast, which this might have been it. I think this would have been the breakfast area. Uh, sit out here uh, and eat breakfast and, and, and look out at the wilderness. Right? That would be a uh, definitely awesome view, having your bowl of Lucky Charms, right? Look at that. That's some yard. This would have been this would have been the front yard to his homestead. But yeah, after after the parks bought it, they restored what they could. Uh, I told you they gutted everything out and and they did restore somewhat of everything. But you know, we're looking right now and you see you see this stuff here, right? You know, in and this is watched too now. But imagine what people uh, vandalized it with back then. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. I, I just like the, the work. Now, one of the rooms in here was his trophy room slash library. And I believe that would have been the first room that we were in. Um, and that is said to be like the prize jewel of this place. Well, you can't have a castle without a legend, right? Right. Well, here's another. Uh, here's another. I don't even think you can read that. Yep. Here, I'll tell you what. There, if you want to read it, just pause it. There's the squire's castle. Now the legend. 
there is a bunch of different ways that the story goes, but they all have the same ending. It's said that his wife was scared um, in the middle of the night. She woke up and she was walking around and she ended up falling down the steps. She broke her neck and she died. Um, like I said, there's, there's a few different ways that story goes. Some say she had insomnia. Some say she walked into the trophy room, got scared of the, of the stuffed animals. Um, but the ending is always the same. She fell and she broke her neck and died. Now, there is a historical fact for that. She did not die here. She actually died in Wycliffe, Ohio in 1929. So, there, there you go. That's the historic fact. Now, if I go outside, let me show you something. People still say, even though there's historic facts, people will still say that they can see a woman. Now, I don't know which window it would be. Would it be those ones up there? Would it be this one here? They still say they can see a woman walking, holding a lantern. Hmm. What to believe, what to believe. But let's walk around. Let's walk around the castle. I'll show you the outside. Can you imagine having this as your yard and, and, and your little weekend abode? Wow. Yeah, again, if you plan on coming out of here, either it's going to be busy or you're going to have the place to yourself. Either way, it's still a fantastic place to see and uh, just marvel at. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, there would have been the little breakfast, uh, breakfast area. Yeah, again, apologize for the dark spots in the video. The way that sun is, it's just... The lighting's awful. Wow. Just imagine you would have came in through there and back there some somewhere, how you know how far back I don't know. Um would have been the main home. Now there is a trail that goes back here. Um, I've never walked it, but I've been told by several people and even on reviews online that it is super poorly marked and people go miles out of their way uh, before they have to turn around. So that's your choice um, to hike or not to hike. That is the question. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a loop and it goes. Now, I, I think there may be some small waterfalls back there i'm not sure um yeah you know you come out here take the hike just be prepared like i said everyone says it's poorly marked and that was that was the castle the gatehouse how amazing is that all right through the window up there you can see some plants growing or trees going through the walls oh 
All right, that was a little quick adventure today. Would have been nice to take a hike. You know, that would have been a nice three hour video, but uh, we're not gonna do that to you. You can only handle handle my voice for so long. I get it. Um, oh, does the tree sound awesome. Can you, can you hear that? Yeah, those trees are talking big time. That's That's awesome. But hey, listen, thanks for joining me today on this little adventure. Um, I think I'm going to head into town and check out some stores out here in Willoughby when I'm done. Um, but as always, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button because I'm always doing some kind of adventure. Whether it be a tower, maybe I'm climbing some stairs, uh, pilgrimage, whatever. We're, we're always doing something fun. Um, but you know what? Until that next adventure comes along... Fair to Malangay.